Folks, next we have Elvin Hernandez from Ponce, Puerto Rico, and he has the solution. And just a little, little side note, he had a very early number, and he switched with a total stranger who had to go to work, and is now second to last because he was able, he was willing to switch. Nice guy. Thank you. I also brought this down. Basically, my idea is called a solution. Um, the main thrust of the idea is if tomorrow we woke up and super people, people who could do fantastic things, suddenly appeared in the world, would that be a good thing? The story that I have that starts, um, it starts with a woman named uh, Cynthia Butler. She is a police officer. She uh, lives in her own home in New York City. She lives a normal life, uh, crappy apartment, crappy furniture, whatever. She turns on the TV and she expects to see uh, Good Morning America, one of those shows. Instead, she sees the news. And it says, by uh, that uh, four beings out of nowhere, cloaked, have appeared on top of four different cities around the world and are looking, just standing up over them, hovering over them, just watching. Now, she sees it, she thinks, well, this is probably Access Hollywood or something like that. I don't care. It's, it's crap. So she leaves, but keeps looking up. As she keeps on going on with her day, people can't stop talking about this. Are there really people out there? What does that mean? Are they gods? Is it the four horsemen of the apocalypse? Are they superheroes? I mean, it's basically not a world where anything fantastic ever happened. She is then pulled off, because she's a police officer, to do her duty, and there's a hit and run that escapes off into the road, and she has to follow it. And as she's pursuing it, the uh, being one of the beings on top of the earth flinches and acts, stopping the car that is going in a hit and run, destroying it, revealing that the car was filled with drugs. Through the radio, you also find out that the three other beings in other different areas have also acted at the very same time. And I've also done a specific act of violence that's supposed to be justice-wise, but it's very violent. And as they leave each scene, they look at their audience and say, we are the solution, beware. Basically, on the one hand, putting people, telling them we have solved the problem, but at the same time, putting everybody in their place. And uh, so basically, it's about what humanity has to deal with once they feel replaced. How does she become involved in, in well, this journey? Well, she was the first person to see them. But also, as the story progresses, her story like ties into them. Eventually, the solution, the, the main character, the, the main uh, space person, feels tied to her for some reason, continues to visit her specifically, as well as other people that come in contact with them. I basically want to use characters to uh, focus on the people, real people, not on the uh, people from with the powers. It's basically looking through the eyes of real human beings, dealing with a world that suddenly has changed uh, culturally, economically, uh, politically, religiously. What it would really mean to have somebody with superpowers on, in the world? Is the mystery of who they are, or is the main well, the point, point the... One of the things that we're trying to check is uh, exactly what are they the solution to? Are they the solution to crime? Are they the solution to injustice? Are they the solution to us? Like, a lot of the things in superheroes that I tend to read feel a little 1984 to me, like a little, like, big brother looking down on you, fixing things, but at the same time keeping you in check. And it's basic, it's how we deal with knowing that someone is constantly watching over us and not necessarily feel comfortable about it. There's a, there's a comic book out there like that already. Um, yeah, uh, I, I know Mark Millar was writing it, and Frank Quitely was the artist. I think DC put it out. Uh -huh. Do you know that one more? Yeah, I, I'm familiar with what you're talking about, but yeah. I mean, this feels similar to a lot of things that are yeah. in the marketplace, I, and I, I don't feel enough to distinguish it from a lot of different things that are out there. I, mean, I don't know how you feel, Mark. But Conceptually, it's almost identical. It's it's basically we've got these superheroes who are supposedly our protectors and our police force. 
but is that a good or a bad thing? And that's essentially what you're saying. Yeah, right. Yeah, and it, it becomes, at least in the stories that I've read, that it's kind of a, a double-edged sword. It's a, it's a good-bad thing. You know, how much power can you let some people have over you? So it's, in that way, it's, it's kind of derivative. Um, I mean, literally, I, I can't think of the title of the comic now, but it's out there already by a major publisher. And, but your Comics. art is really cool. Yeah. And, you know, you, I, I think you've created an interesting, um, an interesting dynamic between, you know, this, the conflict between, you know, is it a good thing to have these, to have the people, you know, these beings that have control? that can stop things from happening, and how does that impact our characters? Um, it's like an unfunny yeah. uh, Team America. Humans don't know <laughs> that they're yeah. super, they don't know if they're superheroes or not, correct? You don't even know that they're superheroes. One of the reasons I thought about it was, uh, well, the only real reason we tend to trust Superman, for example, is because we, as a reader, know he's Clark Kent. Right. If he just showed up out of nowhere and did stuff, you'd be like, what is this? I, I would say that if you, if you, have, if you haven't read those other comics, you're really good at coming up with stories. Yeah. And, and keep it up. Yeah, you maybe need to streamline it a little bit, and uh, and you have a potential for a very dynamic lead character here. You need to flesh her out a bit more. Uh, but um, or, or go with an entirely different story. You seem like you're a good storyteller. Yeah. yeah Just stay at it. Yeah, the idea is solid. But did you also, yeah. did you, are you also the artist? Yes. You know, oh, very, really? Very good very talent. Good. Yeah. A good yeah. package. You belong in comics, dude. Yeah. Yep, yeah. definitely. Thank, Thank you. you.